What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm actually going to be showing you guys on how you can get the Whisper of the Worm exotic sniper rifle. Now this is basically a hybrid version of the Black Hammer. So you've got the perk White Nail, you've got the perk Polygonal Rifling as well as Armor Piercing Rounds, Mulligan as well as Fitted Stock. Now this is an absolutely amazing sniper rifle and before we actually get into this video I do want to say you guys are going to want to be a 370 plus before you actually start this. You're also going to want to have a fire team of free. Anything lower you're going to really struggle with this guys so I'd highly recommend having that. As well as that, you're also going to want to be using solar weapons and void weapons, as well as a class clearing uh, class. So I was using Stormcaller for this, and my teammates, they were both using Tether, which was extremely helpful for generating orbs. So as far as my loadout was going, I was using the Nightshade just as a standard pulse rifle. For my secondary, I did actually have the Polaris Lance. And then last but not least, I had the Sins of the Pass for crowd control. Now as well as that, you guys can be using the Sleeper Simulant, which again is an extremely, extremely good weapon. Now, let's get right into this. So now, how to activate this secret mission as well as be on your path to getting the amazing, the one and only Whisper of the Worm. So you're actually going to want to jump on Io. Now upon actually going to IO, you're going to want for the Take and Blight public event to start. Now you guys can see the location here of where it actually starts. There's two locations in which it can actually start, but you're going to want to wait for that public event to start, as well as make sure you actually rally the flag as well to get your bonuses from that. Now upon actually doing that, you're going to want to kill a boss and not participate in the public event. So like I said, activate the public event, but do not participate in it or complete it. Now what you're going to want to do is kill one of three bosses. You've got a Taken Knight, you've got a Taken Cabal, and you've got a Taken Fallen boss. Now, like I said, you have to kill one of them, and they spawn in one of three locations. So as you guys can see in the background, I'm actually going to all three of these locations, which is partly in caves. These bosses do take some damage, so make sure you have all three of your fire team members helping you out here. Now, upon actually killing them, one of these uh, will actually spawn a portal in which you can actually go through. So you guys can see, after we've killed this boss, I actually go to this portal here. Now, every time you kill one of these bosses in the location, it will spawn the portal to this location, the same exact point as which I go to, no matter what boss you actually kill. Now upon actually going in here, you're actually going to start a lost sector pretty much, which is actually a secret jumping puzzle. Now I'm going to let this play out just so you guys can follow the exact route. You're going to want to be as quick as you can and try and make the boss room, yes you heard that right, the boss room, as fast as possible. So I'm going to let this play out until we actually hit the boss room. down.
Guardian down. Down. So upon hitting this first room here, you can actually see we have some taken enemies which we have to deal with. Now this is an extremely hard part. I would recommend using some supers and some power ammo, although you're going to want to save as much power ammo as you can. You're going to want to clear this room as fast as possible. That includes taking out every single enemy as well as destroying the blights. Now upon actually completing this you're going to move into the next room which requires you to do the exact same but it is a lot harder. Again destroying all of the taken blights as well as every single enemy which is located in this room. Now again like I said using void as well as solar stuff will help you destroy these a lot as well as them crowd control supers will help you narrow down on how much time you can actually use in this part of this quest on getting this weapon. Now, like I said, once you guys have destroyed them, you're going to move on to one more room, which actually has a drop down into a boss room. Now, upon actually going into this boss room, there is again going to be some blights as well as enemies. This is where it actually gets really hard. What you're going to want to do is destroy all of the taken blights. I know a lot of people have said destroy one or two of them and one boss will come out as a time, but we're going to do this with all three purely because I find this the easiest way and you can damage all three at once. Now once you guys have cleared all of the rooms of the adds and destroyed all of the blights, the bosses will actually spawn as well as some more adds. Now this is where it gets tricky because what you're going to want to do is go straight back to where you actually drop down and once you're actually here you can use the Polaris Lance, what I was using, to get quite a bit of damage on these bosses as well as using the rocket launcher. Now you do actually have to kill all three. I was using the Rift as well to give the empowerment to get extra damage. We also had a teammate as a Titan using Mounting Point and again a Hunter who was using the Tether as well to get them orbs up for us so we could use our crowd control supers and all of that jazz. Now I'm not going to tell you exactly how to do it because this is just how I done it but this is my big preference and uh, it worked for us first time. Now we're actually going to do it in the 400 mode as well, but you guys can see once we completed it, we did actually unlock the black spindle, uh, well, not the black spindle, but that's what I'm going to call it anyway, the whisper of the worm. Now, that is pretty much the video, guys. If you did enjoy a like as much, appreciated. I hope I described it as pain-free as possible. It is a really struggle thing, and it does take some time. Even waiting for the public event takes a long while, but I hope that you guys get around to doing this. If you do struggle, please do not get disheartened. It takes some people a really long time to complete these types of stuff. A like is much appreciated on this video. And uh, also, if you guys are looking for some guardians to help you, get involved in that comment section below. Hopefully some people can actually help out. Who knows, I might even give you guys a message. If you are really struggling, I'd be happy to help. But as always, leave a like. Let's try and smash 100 likes on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new around here and keep an eye out for the next step in which I actually am going to be looking at getting the catalyst as well as a secret black spindle ship. But as always, peace out and I hope you enjoyed.